All right, guys. Well, the next big thing for me in trying to get this boat operational is uh, the trailer work. So Danny and I are out here working on the trailer. We're going to move these bunks inside a little bit. They were on the outside of the channels, uh, which is probably not the best situation for them or best or ideal spot for them to be. They're definitely not as structurally sound as they, they should be. So I'll flip you around here. So we're going to take and move these uh, inside using these brackets, these 12 inch brackets. And we're going to keep them on the same uh, height that they are. So we're going to do one, level it, and then do the other. And then eventually move the center brackets up a little bit as well. So um, I've got uh, new tires coming and uh, all my hubs and stuff checked out really well. I just got to clean them up and repaint them. Uh, but everything looks really good on the uh, hubs. And uh, once my new tires get in, then we will uh, put those bad boys on. And then after that, we'll be able to put the uh, trailer back underneath the boat and uh, uh, take her to the water and do a sea trial. So that's kind of the next big thing for us. Uh, here we go. So we got our brackets on. We're getting ready to move the bunks inside. I'll flip you around here so you can see what I'm talking about. So we've mounted the brackets inside, just inside this channel. We got three brackets on uh, each beam that crosses over, and then we're going to move the bunks over and then place them in between the brackets. This is the way it's supposed to be. This will be a lot better for the boat. Looks pretty good. We're gonna do the other side now. But that uh that's a lot better than what it was before, so that's the way it's supposed to be done. Alright, keep it. Looks pretty good. That's a pretty line. I really like it. And that gray, those two grays come together like that. It, it uh, gives it like a battle, battleship appearance. And um, I really like it. It looks really good. Looks like a commercial fishing boat. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make this the final episode of the uh, Shamrock restoration. Uh, we've got the trailer done. The boat is gonna go back on the trailer this morning. I pretty much got everything done inside the boat that needs to get done, minus installing the leaning post or storage uh, center tackle center. I'm gonna get that in after we get it on the trailer. Uh, pretty much change the fluids, run through the process on that, and then you know do all my function checks, and she will pretty much be done. So I'm gonna flip you around here. So she came out really well. I'm very, very happy and very thankful the way she, uh, she turned out. We got the rub rail on. 
That's a Taco Marine rub rail. We ordered a 70 foot kit. Turned out really well. It was really easy to install. Got my uh, through hole drains in. And then coming up in here, one thing we gotta do is install the uh, the Lena post and everything else is in. Got all my gaff holders in, all the rod holders are in right there. Live wells all connected. She's looking pretty good. All right, guys. Well, I got the uh, boat on the trailer. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, Buttony George came over, and we took and adjusted the bunks, and uh, had to you know kind of line things up a little bit different that were there that were there before. We had to uh, move some of the bunks around, especially in the front, because uh, they weren't lined up right. But we've got them right now, so it looks really good. I'll flip it around here so you can check it out. Looks pretty good. So we took these bunks that were here, moved them in on their own brackets like they're supposed to be. And we had to flip around a couple of these posts because they were uh, backwards. The uh, short ones go in the back and the long ones go in the front. Looks really good now. New tires turned out really well. Everything's greased up, ready to go. All right, so moving on next, put the transmission fluid in and I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and change the oil and then get all my safety equipment. Then get the Lena post back in and uh, just some small things, but she's coming together pretty good. Hopefully uh, I'll have her uh, cranked up and here next couple hours, Lord willing. So, all right, I'm gonna get to it. it's uh touching the stick it's just just below the ad so once it warms up then i'll check it again and then it probably have to put a little bit more in there if i need to or if i need to take a little bit out i can always take a little bit out not a problem but all right well, transmission is done so we're going to move on to um the next thing <laughs> gonna go get Some boat gas I'm going to get boat gas, boat gas. Uh -huh, so we can we can start her up we're gonna check the engine feels good to be pulling her what are we going to get now um, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> no we're gonna get boat gas that macaroni and cheese you silly we might get some macaroni and cheese. We'll see. Definitely getting boat gas yeah, so. though. All right, here we go. Sounds good. Logan ain't too too uh, happy with it right now. But now the water is a little louder out of the water. He's not used to it yet. He's been watching this boat for the last year and has never heard it. So it's a little loud for him right now. Hey, come here. What do you say? Look, it's not so bad. See, look. Is it cool? It sounds good, doesn't it? You're not going anywhere. 
No, it's not going anywhere. It's just, just running right now. So right now we're letting it run for probably about uh, 15, 20 Daddy, minutes. Daddy, it's just the engine. Yep, it's just the engine. It's just the engine on? Yep, the engine's on. We're going to let it run for a little bit longer and uh, change the oil. Let the oil heat up and then change the oil out. Yep, we're running it. Is it cool? Is it turn off too? When we get ready, we'll turn it off. We're not ready yet. We're going to change the oil. coming out pretty good now I um, I let it run probably maybe 20 minutes or so made a call with my dad about 10 or 15 minutes and then um, during that time and then went and turned it off looks pretty good I think I overfilled the transmission a little bit uh, I had to I let it kind of let it let it come out a little bit and I cleaned it up uh, just checked it and it looks like it's good now pretty pretty good I was really happy I mean it, I think it started up on the second the second time I pushed the button it started up I had to throttle up a little too high I forgot I had to throttle throttle was supposed to be all the way back so when it first came on it was it was probably right at a you know pushing a, a thousand rpms and it idles at 700 perfect and it's, it sounds really really good so I'm gonna do an oil change tonight and uh, get ready for tomorrow Lord will put it in the water All right, guys, so today's uh, sea trial day. We're going to run out there and test her out. We've uh, went over all the fluids and everything checks out. So, Lord willing, everything will work like it's supposed to. It's doing really good here in the yard, so we're pretty excited about getting it out there. All right, we'll see you out there. So far, so good. Uh, only thing we had to do, we had to change this uh, the uh, forward and reverse. I had it backwards. It had it back here. It should have been up here. Funny story. I actually had it right the first time. Thought it was wrong when we were doing our check, so I switched it around. But uh, we're we're good now. So, but uh, looks pretty good. We think uh, we're getting ready to go test her out. Everything else is running good. Thank the good Lord. Um, all the uh, seals and stuff are working good. Everything seems to uh, be running well. Temperature is holding really well. So. Running like a top, like a brand new machine. The motor's only got about 280 hours on it, so it's uh, pretty much a, a motor that's just getting broke in. Uh, probably not technically even broke in yet, but uh, we're gonna uh, tighten this up and then go for a seat drop.
All right, guys, well, we're back at the house, obviously. Uh, sea trial went really well. Had a couple things that I had to work out. Um, there's a couple things I'm going to have to tighten up. Uh, but for the most part, it went really well. Um, uh, two things that I need to get done. I need to get gaskets for the high-rise intake. One of them on the port side is slowly leaking to cool it. Uh, it's not a big deal, but it's something I definitely need to fix before we start running trips. And the other thing is a uh, fuel cell probably the filter but i'm going to go ahead and replace the whole thing since i've been home i've actually done a little bit of research i want to go ahead and replace the fuel cell system which will be the high pressure and the low pressure as well as the filter it's a whole assembly piece uh that comes together so i'm going to go ahead and put a brand new one on there so that way my entire fuel system will be brand new from my uh, fuel tanks all the way up to the uh, motor itself uh, the sea trial went really well so very thankful for that thanking the good lord for um, all the grace and mercy that we've been given and uh, looking forward to doing some f uh, fishing trips here in the future we got a, a, a few more weeks before we uh, our season really kicks off for us so we're going to take that time and tighten up the boat and get all our fishing equipment ready to go uh, but thanks so much for following along on this project it's been a um, a long year with some highs and lows but uh but a lot of mercy a lot of praying and a lot of hard work it's come together very thankful for it uh looking forward to get back out there and doing some fishing with everybody uh if you've been following along i really appreciate the whole you know for following on the whole process if you haven't already hit the subscribe button we're going to try to keep growing this channel so this is going to be the uh, last episode for the uh, custom restoration project for the Shamrock. From here on out, it's just going to be kind of a vlog style. We're going to share videos. We want to continue doing that. Uh, it'll be sharing videos of just general things of maintenance, all things to do with charter fishing and charter fishing in itself, going out, doing some commercial trips in between. Uh, so if you have any questions or want to know something, let us know. We'd love to uh, share the information that we've learned. Logan, what do you say, buddy? Okay, come here, say hi. Hi. Say thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> have a good day. And get up. Amen. Have a good day, guys. And God bless. Yeah.